As you know, Google are going all in on Performance Max campaigns, and there's nothing we can do about it as advertisers. And one of the biggest complaints advertisers have about Performance Max is the lack of control. You can't actually control a lot of the traffic you're getting in the same way you can with a search campaign. One of the key things is the inability to add negative keywords to your Performance Max campaign. Well, the good news is Google have a bit of a workaround where you can add negative keywords to your Performance Max campaigns so they don't opt to optimize towards your brand. So you're going to learn all of that and more right now. So for those who don't know, Performance Max is Google's latest campaign type, which uses all of the Google network in order to serve your adverts to hopefully get you more conversion volume, more visibility, and cover the entire customer touch points, including search, YouTube, the discovery panel on Android devices and other places, and in your Gmail accounts as well, and a few other places on the Google network. Now, it's a great campaign type in theory, but the issue is the lack of advertiser control. And one of the things that Performance Max actually does is it optimizes towards your brand name because the objective of the campaign is to get as many conversions as possible or the campaign overall is going to work towards your conversion goal, meaning the easiest route from point A, your budget, to point B, maximizing your conversions, is just to spend money on your brand. And that's not exactly what you want. You want to separate your brand spend from your main core prospecting spend on Google. So you have to add negative keywords to your Performance Max campaign. Now I can hear you asking me already, Darren, I've looked at Performance Max campaigns, I've gone in, looked at the options, looked at the settings, there is no tab to add negative keywords to a Performance Max campaign, and you would be right. However, there is a workaround, but unfortunately it means you're gonna have to get in touch with Google. If you submit a Google support ticket for your account, you can get in touch with a Google representative and ask them to add negative keywords to your Performance Max campaigns. There's one thing you have to do before you do that though. You need to head into the shared library and then build your negative keyword list that you want to add to your Performance Max campaign. As I said, there's no setting in a Performance Max campaign to add negative keywords. Therefore, you have to leverage the shared library, create your keyword list that you want to add as negatives, and then add that into the Performance Max campaign. And the only way to add that in is to ask a Google representative to do that for you. Once you reach out to that Google representative to add those negative keywords into your account, they will ask you to complete a form. Well, it's not really a form, it's more of a response to an email where they ask for some very specific business information and a very specific and overt statement of what you want the representative to do so they could action that for you. Once you've had the back and forth with Google in order to do this and submit the information they require, as you can see on screen here, they will go ahead and add that negative keyword list to your Performance Max campaign. Now remember, the negative keyword list for your Performance Max campaign, I would say your brand's name needs to be a priority on this. If you want to show on your brand or optimize towards your brand, you would build a brand campaign. You wouldn't want your Performance Max campaign to optimize towards brand. So brand keywords are a big must. If you spot any other areas within the insights of your Performance Max campaign that aren't in line with exactly what you're targeting, you can add these here as well. And then once you attach that negative keyword list to your Performance Max campaign, you'll stop showing for those topics as well. I really wish Google just let advertisers have control over their own campaigns. Yes, I know automation is improving. It's been a very long journey for Google to get to this point where I actually made a video. In fact, one of my previous videos was about trialing Broadmatch and I never thought I'd ever say that because it's come a long way. It's still annoying that we have to reach out to Google to ask them to give us better quality traffic. It's quite a frustration for a lot of advertisers. Ultimately, I think Google will add this feature into Performance Max campaigns even though they want to get as much data as possible from the automation and the step of getting in touch with a Google representative is enough of a barrier to put enough people off, or maybe the less savvy advertisers wouldn't necessarily realize this was even an option. It means Google can gather data on Performance Max more quickly, try and improve the product. It's just a shame that Google are using our advertiser budgets for their research and development to improve their products. Ultimately, we as advertisers still want control. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments, are you on board with Performance Max campaigns? How are your results so far? It's quite mixed for me in all honesty, so I'll be really interested to hear from you guys how you're getting on. And don't forget to subscribe to this video and don't forget to check out the SEMacademy.com and I'll see you guys on the next one.